to feel really guilty saying this story, but I've literally told every person in my friend group and beyond. So like, I, I don't care at this point, but it involves our fan favorite, Leah Michelle. Back in 2017, 2018, I was a background regular and I was her stand-in for a week on her TV show. Her TV show is giving it too much credit. By episode three, they were thinking of firing her because she kept throwing tantrums and staying in her trailer for far too long and like making production just go over budget by days. She needed this job because she had officially been blacklisted as being difficult and the whole glee thing had come out about like her being super racist and mean and aggressive to people on set. So the week that I was her stand-in, I again, I had been on this show regularly. I was friends with the, like the actual stars of the show. Everyone on crew was super sweet. Like we all are friends still on Instagram. This was episode seven of the 12 that we had got to film, but I had never really spoken to her. Even David Spade was nice to me. Even David Spade was funny and great to talk to. This woman, okay, I basically, as a stand-in, it was my very first time, what I had to do was take notes, like where she had to go, what she had to do, where she had to land when she said certain things because it was a single camera show. Finally, the princess comes out of her trailer 45 minutes too late and I have the script in my hand and I'm like, this is the first time I'm actually gonna speak to her. Dear God, give me strength. And so I walk up to her and I go, oh, hi Leah, I'm Laura, I'm your stand-in for the week. Um, so basically what Mark, the director, wants from you is like when you come here, like when you say this word and this word, like for your close up, you're gonna land here because the camera's gonna focus on you and I have it marked up on your script. I'm like halfway through, she's not even making eye contact with me, she hasn't said hello, she doesn't even like, acknowledge my presence and I'm like okay maybe she's like just hearing it it's fine and finally she looks up and she goes you're still talking I need it to stop <laughs> when I tell you my social anxiety I I wanted to die on the spot the main actors and the director literally came up to me and they're like we're so sorry for Leah she gets in a mood sometimes and I was like I know I've been on the show now for seven episodes I see it she makes me go home late and at this point, I had never even thought about it until like this year when the whole illiterate thing came out. And I was like, I've never actually seen her like type anything cohesive on her phone because she's constantly on her phone. And I mean, she wouldn't even look once at the script. And I'm thinking now, maybe it's because she couldn't read the script. Yvette Nicole Brown, the sweetest, sweetest woman, had it up to here with Leah. She was about to curse her out. Even the cameraman finally cursed her out on the last day of the show because it ended up getting canceled. And it was glorious because I was the stand-in for that episode and I witnessed it. And it's so sad because I really wanted to like her because I think she's beautiful and she's so talented. Why does she have that voice? But she is deplorable and I want her taken down, taken down.